Alright guys, welcome back to BDO. We're still continuing my my quest uh, walkthrough of the entire game, as far as I can get to it anyway. Uh, we just finished something called Philly Eileen. Eileen? Philly Eileen? Uh, we just killed one of the dark imps over there, the great imps on the on the side of the beach. And then we're going to talk to Eileen again. She's going to give us a quest which is not part of the main quest, but is... Um, going to be one of the very first quests that you don't actually have to do. And you can tell because it's just a yellow uh, quest marker. It's not something more important. I mean, I forget how it looks, but I'll be able to show you in a little bit, but you can tell that it's not an actual like story quest. It's just a quest to do if you want to. You can avoid this one if you want. So, the quest uh, name is Eileen's Request. I have to study alchemy, but I need more data, so we're going to continue on. I'm just going to jump through this. She wants you to go grab some stuff for her. Okay, so, Eileen's request. Let's go ahead and set a waypoint for it. You're going to want to quickly, uh, yeah, you're going to want to click it a few times, because this one up here always takes precedence, and uh, even if you click it once, you saw it didn't change right away. It just kind of turned off. So make sure that you click it a few times to make sure that it's actually the right waypoint. This is the quest objective. Just kill a bunch of these guys, or kill one of them, actually, not even... <laughs> you don't even have to kill more than one. So if you thought this quest was hard, uh, it's not. That's that's Eileen's request. She gives you a bit of a um, inventory expansion, which is useful. So definitely do the side quest if you feel like you're uh, missing stuff, like you know mounts and that kind of thing. So now we're going to move on to the skill instructor part. Skill instructor in Viola. So, beginning of the new journey. I don't think I'm going to be doing that one for a while. You can see on the map there's a whole bunch of quests in this area, and I will be doing those as well. Alright, so this one is called... Well, that's part of the main storyline quest. It's for storage. Derpa derpa. So, sorry about that guys, I get distracted. Alright, go talk to this guy. Again, part of the main main story. And you can tell because he's blue. So he's, he's moving you on through a, uh, through a quest line. Or he's not blue, but the quest icon above his head is blue. Okay, so from here it's telling me to go kill some goblins. As I said, always go ahead and click that twice just to make sure you've got the right one. And we're going to go do it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and auto-run so I can take a look at my inventory. Okay, so we have one piece of armor and... Okay. Good. Again, I'm not going to be taking the road for this. It's a little too slow to go all the way around. tell you, these rock walls, though, they do make me miss my ninja. Right, before we get up there... All right. So this entire field is one of the more confusing parts of the game, because everything's a little bit hard to see with all the foliage, and with the fact that you can't really see most of these guys' names very easily. And you'll notice I'm picking stuff up really quickly because I spent money on the damn game and I bought some pets. As you can see, they're following me around. Cool. Alright. Goblins make the best noises when they die. Alright. Next. Knock the fuck out. Okay. Now we gotta kill two goblin throwers. Looks like there's two right in front of me. Ooh, look at the AoE on that. That was nice. Looks like it's a cone right in front of you for the striker. I could be wrong about that, but it looks like it's a cone. Which is pretty good. I can deal with a cone. Alright, so that's everybody on that quest. I think I killed, or killed, I think I damaged one, so I have to go back and kill him. All 
Alright. Talk to my dark spirit. Alright, it's probably going to tell me to go kill some more goblins of some kind. Nope, got to kill some cauldrons. And some totems. They're called sculptures, but let's let's be let's be real real here. Those were uh, those were totem poles. Fuck your food. Okay. Uh, what else are we missing? One more cauldron. All right. Talk to my dark spirit. I think this is the last part of this, uh, the last part of this leg of the quest. Yeah, pretty sure this is it. Go kill the bigger guys. So again, this part of the the quest line or this part of the story is very nice because it's really obvious what you need to kill and what you need to get because it's outlined in blue and there's a thing over its head. Very nice. Uh, some parts of this game are not like that. I think that's a little deceptive because of the way that the game is structured. You think that all the quests are going to be that simple, but no. No, they unfortunately are not. They usually are not that simple. So, Talk to the Dark Spirit again. I think he's going to send me back to town. I could be wrong about that. Now we're going to move on to the next uh, next stuff to kill. Even bigger than they were. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not the big ones. Everybody. That's probably one of my favorite uh, move sets, by the way, is for me it's number pad 2. I think for everybody else it's going to be Q. And then I, I could swear it's like right mouse button. It sort of looks like this. It's so cool looking. It's not very effective um, it, it, for me because I don't know how to aim it yet, but it just looks really cool. Wow, everything got darker. Oh, the sun went down. <laughs> I was like, I can't imagine I hit him so hard that the sun went out. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Alright, we're getting to a point where I'm actually going to have to start using my lantern, so I might as well put that on now. I remember where it is. Did we get it yet? Did I get a lantern? Maybe I didn't get a lantern yet. Well, that's wild. I think it's part of a quest I have to have to do at some point. I'm pretty sure it's part of a quest, because it's not my inventory. That sucks. It's going to be dark. I can't even believe I'm saying that in, in an MMO, but yeah, it actually does matter if you have a lantern, because it gets pretty dark in this game. I would never go into a cave without a lantern, unless you want to turn your gamma all the way up so you can see stuff. Oh yeah? No. Alright, so what do we gotta kill left? Three elite soldiers. And they look like that. Alright, go over here. And if you're wondering how I'm finding these, of course, I mean, it's just on the top right. You just follow the map and try not to get stuck between a bunch of stuff you don't want to kill. No, that's not everything. So um, not even close. They're not dropping the stuff. So that's another thing. When you're when you're killing this stuff, they actually go off of items in your inventory, not what you've killed usually. So make sure that you know, not to just go kill three things and think you're done. I don't know. Most nobody's that stupid. I'm. I've been that stupid though. I've actually just gone back to the quest giver thinking I killed three of them, and uh, no, no, I hadn't. I I hadn't collected three things. It's just what I was supposed to have done. So yeah, don't be like me. Don't be stupid, is what I'm saying. They're all carrying hammers. What, am I breaking them? Am I hitting them so hard I'm breaking the hammers? Give me your hammer. What are you doing up on a rock? That's something I do. Oh, got one. Got one. 
That's the one kind of quest I don't like, is the drop kind of quest, where it doesn't drop every time, and a lot of the stuff in this game does that. Hey, it looks like there's a boss over there. I'm probably going to go beat him up in a second. Oh yeah, yeah, he's right, in, right ahead of me. Let's do it. Is this him? It is this! This is him! Oh my god. He's, he's really intimidating. I don't know, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I usually when they have a boss pop like that, um, <laughs> it's usually a lot more intimidating than a three foot tall goblin. Um, that was that was pretty underwhelming. Oh, cool. Okay, we got it done. I think we can go to the next part now, assuming I don't get hit. All right. Yep, that's the next part. Just ignore these chode monkeys. It's gonna head me, yeah, right down there to the to the farm. After the farm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna bring me back to town, and that's where I'll end this one. Because again, this is just one leg of the journey, and then after this, I'll start doing some of the stuff inside the town. I might actually make that one video because the quests inside town are actually pretty pretty short. They're not that hard to do. Um, they're, they're all very short um, duration, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we'll see. We can skip that. That's fine. Oh. There we go. Easy! Supreme victory! Alright, so the next part. Talk to the Dark Spirit again, and I'm pretty sure it's going to bring me back to town, like I said. Now hopefully they will get me a, um, a lantern this time around. I'm pretty sure they will. Okay. Oh, got to talk to the to the Dark Spirit again. See? It does that. You'll think you're getting through the entire quest line and it won't actually give you everything. It'll trick you. Okay, so now, yeah, this one's definitely bringing me back to town. Sorry about it being nighttime. I wish I had a lantern on me. I might have to just, um, yeah, I might just have to wing it. It's kind of hard to see me unless I, like, move my camera just so. I like how if you're just below the horizon, the camera actually will, uh, It'll use the light source that it's in, so if the camera's up here, you can see with the light of the sun. If the camera's down here, you can't. I like that. It's a, it's a nice touch. I have no idea why, but it makes it feel more immersive. I also like the fact that it rains and that it gets foggy. I haven't seen any snow, but that's because I don't think there's any area in the game that uses like snow at all. It's all just rain and dust storms and stuff. Okay, oop, uh, I missed it. Go up and talk to this guy again. Nope, no, not that guy again. Talk to the town elder type guy. I think he's going to give me a donkey. Pretty sure that's what happens. That's such a strange way to pay somebody. Here, have a donkey. Yeah, gives you some money. Gives you another quest. And yeah, I should have a, uh, a donkey now. Pretty sure. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm probably not going to use the donkey, but how you do it is you take the emblem over to this guy. Again, hard to see because it's nighttime. You take it over to this guy, stable keeper right there. There's the stable. And then and then that's how you register it right there. See? Well, I'll register him. Shut up, it's the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> And then we take him out, so you can use him. Get out of here, and then your horse should be right there. There he is. No, that's not... Is that him? It's kind of hard to see him. That's him, though. There's, there's my little dude. There's my jackass. Okay, so that is it. That is the end of this leg of the journey. You've got yourself a mount now. Uh, you have done 
you know, probably most of the stuff in this town, I'm sure, by now, but I'll do the stuff in the town next video. I hope this uh, helped you guys out. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, a subscribe, and I will see you guys another time.